Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today I'm going to show you how to make a marble cake. Now marble cakes is a cake which is made typically uh, with chocolate and vanilla, uh, or chocolate powder at least, and vanilla. And one part of it is chocolate, one part of it is vanilla and pale. And then as you mix them together, you get this lovely marble effect. So it's more about the effect uh, with this particular cake. Let me talk you through the ingredients. First of all, we have 100 grams of self-raising flour, one egg, 100 grams of margarine, 100 grams of caster sugar, teaspoonful of vanilla essence, teaspoonful of cinnamon, and a spoonful of cocoa powder, about 25 grams. Now to begin with, like with most cake recipes, we're going to mix the fat and the sugar together. Now to do this, we're going to be using a technique called the creaming method. Now the cream method is where you mix the fat and sugar together, with the aim being to help the sugar to dissolve fully into the fat. And you'll be able to see what happens because there should be a change in colour. Technique, little tip, use the back of the spoon. If you use the front of the spoon, all the ingredients will gather in the middle and you won't be able to cream it as efficiently. Now the cream method again, try and squash the fat and the sugar to the back of the spoon in to the side of the bowl. Now this works better with margarine than with butter because butter has a lot more fat so it's a lot more solid, so it's harder to cream. If you're using butter, which you could do, I suggest you leave it out to soften first and then using the back of the spoon, squash it in and keep working around until it gets nice and smooth. Now the creaming takes, realistically speaking, about five or 10 minutes to do properly. Now to check if your mixture is creaming properly, uh, they can do two things. One, the color will change from a, a quite a dark yellow of the original margarine to quite a pale color. Secondarily, you can take a little bit between your fingertips and squeeze. If you can still feel the grit of the sugar, I can feel a little bit of the grit of the sugar, you need to carry on creaming a little bit more. So my mixture's nicely creamed now. It's gone quite pale and light. I'm going to add in one egg. I'm going to mix that in. Once you mix in the egg, add in your flour and mix thoroughly. Okay, and pretty much done here. So we've got our basic mixture. Now, next stage, you need to put it in our tin. I'm gonna separate half this off and put it in my tin. And then the next half, that's when we're gonna add the cocoa powder to. Let's do it. Okay, so I've got my tin here and I've got my mixture. Now I'm gonna to look to add, roughly speaking, about half the mixture. And I'm gonna put blobs of the mixture in. I'm going to go for three decent size blobs. As you can see, three decent size blobs. Now that's the white mixture. Should we go one more? No, maybe three decent size blobs. Maybe a little bit more. Put another blob in. Here we have four blobs. Now into the mixture that's remaining, I'm gonna add some cocoa powder, some vanilla essence, and I'm also gonna add one more thing, a little bit of bran. So into our mixture, I'm gonna add a spoonful, about 25 grams of chocolate powder, vanilla essence, about a teaspoon, I'm going to add about 25 grams of bran and I'm going to thoroughly mix this together. And there we have it, our chocolate mixture. So here's our original mixture. Now I want to blob in to the spaces our chocolate mixture. Now you want to be sure, you don't want to mix them all together, otherwise you'll just get one colour. I want to try and Make distinct blobs. Okay. And I'm blobbing 
into the space. That's what our cake's looking like at the moment. A bit random, we've got our blobs of chocolate with our blobs of uh, the plain one. So now what we're gonna do, using a knife, I'm gonna kind of blend two sections together. Swirl one into the other. Not too much, because I want that distinction. Little twirl here, little twirl there, little twirl, little twirl, and there we have it. So now this will all bake together. It's, it's important that, visually at least, you leave a nice distinction between the dark and the lighter parts, so when they bake you can be able to see the dark part and the light part, and you'll be able to notice it more when you coat it open at the end. So when it's in the oven, this should take about 15 to 18 minutes on gas mark 180. And here we have it, our marble cake. Now, can smell it? it smells delicious, I can smell um, the essences plus the chocolate coming through. Let's slice it open and see what it looks like inside. There we have it on the inside. Quite a nice effect going all the way through. So now, let's taste it. Mmm. Very good. I can taste the, um, the almond in the plain side and the chocolate part in the chocolate side is coming through really, really well. So look what it looks like inside. As you can see, we have a nice marbling, depending on which part of it you cut. We could, have, we could have done a better job swirling the two different colours together. It's worked quite well on top, but I think underneath we could have swirled a bit, a bit more. So when you cut it open, you'll be able to see more of a marbled effect throughout. But taste-wise, it's really good. Now, as a variation to this, um, what is quite nice to do um, is to you can line the base with fruit. For example, you did some chopped apple or some chopped pear, put it in the base, then did the marbling effect on top, and you get a nice contrast with a little, nice little bit of fruity flavour coming through at the bottom. And we can call that, say, a pear uh, marble cake or an apple marble cake. And that gives one addition of a fruit, but also um, a contrasting flavour. Mm. Food Tech 101 is now available on Facebook and Instagram, and we can also be contacted via email at admin at foodtech101.co.uk. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit a little bell icon so you never miss another video again. As always, my name is Mr. Lybird, but you can call me Sir. A thing's will